Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a haul for you guys. I have my Ipsy bag from September, so I need to make sure to show you guys what I got in that. I also went to Bath and Body Works and Sephora and Target for a couple things. So I'm going to actually go ahead and start with my Ipsy. So again, this is from September. I just haven't opened it yet. I have, however, watched a couple of YouTubers from this, but this is Face Fashion by Ipsy. It's a really pretty picture, actually. And here is the bag. It's actually a really nice rose gold bag. I like the texture of it as well. Um, really do like this bag, and we'll keep it. So the first thing I have here is from Tristique. This is a mini matte lip crayon. It looks like this. It looks very similar to their eyeshadow crayon that they gave earlier. And this is in the color Nantucket Nude. So I'll go ahead and swatch that for you guys. It's a really nice peachy nude. It goes on. Swatch is really pretty. So that is Nantucket Nude from Tristique. The next thing I have here is a eyeshadow trio from Ipsy and NYX. I have received um, a trio similar to this in the past that I actually just decluttered. So I'm not too excited to try this, but the colors here, um, they don't have the colors on it. It just says one, two, and three. So, oh, there's like a little, I'm trying to open it, and I've realized there's a sticker to it. I need to redo my nails anyway. So these are really actually really pretty colors. As you can tell it's like a light brown, a medium brown, and then it looks like a dark brown. I'll go ahead and swatch them for you. So that's it swatched on the fingers and then yeah, they seem a little chalky to me. See if I can get a little more of that medium brown color. Yeah, they don't really swatch very nicely. I think I might just give this away and not worry about this too much. If this little thingy bobber will stay in this eyeshadow, but kind of disappointed in that since I have already received that before. Let me get something for my fingers real quick. Okay. So, continuing on with Ipsy, I got a, this is from Not Soap Radio, this is the Phoenix when you need to rinse from the ashes yet again. This is a revitalizing hand and body lotion. Looks like that. It's actually a pretty nice sample. It's similar to like what you would get from like a hotel. It has a good scent to it. Let me see if I could get some out. Oh, it's a really nice scent. I do like this. It's very light, however, so it would be perfect for spring and summer or early fall. But getting too into winter, I think this might be not as moisturizing as I would prefer in the fall and winter. But I definitely do like the scent of that. And then the last thing I got here is from Bayberry Naturals. This is the Rose Hip and Hibiscus Moisturizer. So they gave me two moisturizers, but this is for face and neck. Let's see if I can get... This one is a lot lighter. It's a different texture to the other one. And it doesn't really have a scent, so that is scentless. What I'm kind of interested in is, I only got four products in this. And I even redeemed points for a product, and I don't seem to have got it. So I'm pretty disappointed in Ipsy. I think lately for Ipsy, I have just been getting a little disappointed with the products they've been sending me. So probably this might be my last year having this since it's not as worthwhile as I used to think it was. So let's move on to Bath & Body Works since that's the most. Um, there were two for 24 candles and they are still going on as of now. So I picked up two candles. One I picked up and two, the second one my husband picked out. The 
one I picked out is called Pumpkin Cupcake. Looks like that. I picked this up last fall. If I have a candle review, I'll go ahead and post that down below of this candle. But this is Satisfy Your Sweet Tooth with the scent of a freshly baked pumpkin cupcake covered in loads of rich buttercream frosting. And I love the little pumpkin detail on the candle as well as like the cap-like texture it is for this. But oh, it smells so good. Love this candle. Definitely check it out if you haven't already. And it's a re-promote. They have promoted the past couple of years and I would recommend repurchasing it because I did so myself. The candle my husband picked out, this is um, called Radiant Red Maple. So it looks like that. The um, candle topper or whatever is just a nice pretty gold color. This is the aromas of crisp red Macintosh apple, smoky woods, and a hint of toasted marshmallow bring a feeling of fall in the air. This smells so good. It's very sweet, but still has that um, smokiness that I was talking about. So it is really nice. I will hopefully post a candle review. I am right now about to post my pumpkin apple candle review. So let me know if you guys have any candles that you would recommend seeing faster than others. Just let me know down below. But again, this is the Radiant Red Maple. Okay, so I had a little coupon to get a free item. So the free item was a mini candle. So, sorry for the noise. I got a small mini candle of the Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. This candle smells so good. I have a three wick of this and it will be in my September favorites. Burns beautifully, it is very strong. So that's why for the mini candle, I was debating on getting a candle I didn't have the three wick for, but I couldn't smell them just going like this with my nose, so I knew this one was very fragrant. So I wanted to get a mini candle that I might actually smell, because honestly, the mini candles, I really don't smell them that often. Um, they just are kind of for the aroma, not the aroma, the environment or getting the mood going, you know, that kind of stuff, like it was really dark, stormy, light a candle kind of thing, but um, definitely would recommend if you do get a mini candle to get this vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. It doesn't have the scent, but it's a very sweet, uh, it's very sweet compared to the pumpkin cupcake, but it has a little bit more of a vanilla hint to it, so definitely like this, and look how cute. The topper is it's a little pumpkin so cute love it and yeah that was a good pick so I got a bunch of body washes and body body care and hand soaps um, one hand soap that I don't have is the dancing waters my husband is currently using that because we were running out and that's just a very clean scent that he always wants and we repurchase um, to continue on with hand soaps I picked out the pumpkin cupcake, as you can tell. This is baked pumpkin and whipped vanilla frosting. The packaging looks like that. Super cute. I love this scent. I also picked up a maple sugar kiss. This is brown sugar, vanilla, and maple. I'm going to smell this again. Oh, this smells so good. It's very, very... Oh, I just like got soap on my hand. It's very brown sugary, so if you don't like brown sugar, then stray away from this, but this is a good scent, and I totally got it all lakey. I was holding it weird, but this is a really nice scent. Um, the next one I have here, this is more, again, for like the fresh, clean scents that my husband prefers. This is the Crisp Morning Air. This is Pine, Juniper, and Hint of Pear. Well, that's what that one is. I'm not going to open it because the other one I made a mess. Next one I have here is Cozy Vanilla Cream. This is whipped frosting, sweet cream, and vanilla bean. Looks like that. In the packaging, I love that they did change it. It looks a lot cuter. And then I just love what they do with the pictures for them. And then I think the last one 
yeah, the last one I have again is another pumpkin cupcake. So those were, I think, six for $24. I'm not 100% positive. And then they also had deals on their body care. So my husband picked up two and then I got the rest. He has, these are repurchases for him. So this is the Bath and Body Works White Water Rush and it is fresh white water, aromatic bergamot and white cedar. Smells really good. I do like that body wash on him. And then this other one is Ocean for Men. This is a hair and body wash. However, he just uses it for a body wash. And I don't think, oh, it's dive into crystal clear blue waters with ocean and invigorating blend of fresh cypress, vetiver, and cool ocean air. So that is a really nice scent he likes as well. So for me personally, I didn't need too many body lotions, but I did want a body cream. This is the scent Mad About You. This is in their permanent line, so you can get this any time of year. It has notes of black currant, bright peony, pink jasmine, and white patchouli vanilla musk is the last note. And this is a really nice scent. Love it. It probably will be in a favorites video. I have purchased the body soap of this and that's what made me really want the body cream. So I also have three of the body washes. One is the Wild Madagascar Vanilla. This is kind of a fall scent in my opinion. I am currently trying to use up the body, um, body lotion that's kind of in this packaging as well. So I really wanted to use that with the body soap in conjunction with it. And um, I was looking over their fall body care for like girls I guess and I just really wasn't a fan of any of them so that's why I'm kind of purchasing their permanent line. The other one is Mad About You. This is like the body cream. I'm going to try and match up. Really do like this scent. And then the last one I have is Velvet Sugar. And the ve Velvet Sugar is Sugar Musk, Pink Jasmine, and Wild Strawberries. So these may not be, like I said, super fall scents. They're in their permanent line, but I will use it during the fall and wait and watch out for those winter scents. Like Vanilla Bean Noel. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So that is all from Bath and Body Works. I have already busted into my Sephora stuff. So I'll give y'all mini little mini reviews while I'm here. Um, I put these back in their packaging, but these are the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circles. One is the brightener and the other one is just in the shade light. I have never purchased the brightener before. But, however, I really do like it. It is a nice pinky kind of, let's see if I can show you, a nice pinky kind of color. So, it, putting it right under your eyes, it really brightens up your eyes for any, like, dark pigmentation that you may have. And then, as well, I also got, like I said, the shade Light. And this is perfect. You can use it under your eyes. That's what I was doing first. This is probably the third one I have purchased. I am planning on doing a most purchased products video coming up soon, but this again is the light color and blended out. You can put this, I could put this on blemishes on my face or anything like that that I just want to conceal. It's very light, very easy to blend out, and it does have good coverage, so I would recommend checking out those. Always a repurchase. So from Sephora, I got the main thing I wanted. This is the Tarte High Performance Naturals. This is that blush palette that came out for the holiday. The packaging, just the box alone, is so gorgeous. Love it. I've never um, purchased their like holiday blush palettes before, but this one I could not pass up. So first off, look how pretty it is. It is like a black sequin, almost looks like a little clutch. Um, packaging design, love it. And when you go inside, it has all these colors. And what I love most about it is it has the names down here. 
Tarte got smart and put the names down here. So I'll give you all a closer look. So those are the shades for the Blingin' On Tarte Blush Palette for 2015. The first color is Fetching, Doll Face, Prim, Smashing, and Beaming. If y'all would like a review on this and some swatches, let me know down below and I'd be happy to do that for y'all. But again, yes, that's the Tarte Palette, Blush Palette. So excited. And then I got just two more little things and they threw something in my bag as well. Uh, the first, the next thing is the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color and the shade I got is Moonlight. I've heard a lot of people rave about these eyeshadow sticks and really wanted to try them out myself. So this again is in the shade Moonlight. The packaging is just super sleek. I hope you'll show that. And it's just really pretty. I was testing a lot of these out and was like, Oh, I could use any of these shades. But this one, again, like I said, is in Moonlight. It is just a really pretty, like, a gold color. It's perfect for fall. Love it as a base. It re reminds me of Bad to the Browns from Maybelline Color Tattoos, but I actually am liking this kind of stick better. You don't have to sharpen it. You just can roll it up or roll it back down, which makes it so easy. And that's why I was getting sick and tired of the NYX Jumbo Pencils. They just weren't as easy to use. So I'm really excited to use that. And then the next thing I got is from NARS. This is the Satin Lip Pencil and the color is Luxembourg 9208. I got the two lip pencils from the Birthday Collection and really like the formula of these. And this is a color that I just don't have in my collection. Again, this is Luxembourg. Look how gorgeous that is. It's like a really hot, rosy pink color. It looks like that. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? I love it. I'm so excited to use it. Probably perfect more for spring and summer, but you know, a girl can rock it in the fall and winter as well. So, so excited to have this lip pencil and all the things that I got from Sephora and Bath and Body Works and um, Ipsy and well, we'll see about those. But thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you want any reviews or tutorials or anything like that on any of the stuff that I bought and I will talk to you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.